ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 727 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇੰਤਲੰਗ ਰਾਗ ਬਾਈ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਤਿਲੰਗ ਬਾਣੀ ਭਗਤਾ ਕੀ ਕਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਬੇਦ ਕਤੇਬ ਇਫਤਰਾ ਭਾਈ ਦਿਲ ਕਾ ਫਿਕਰ ਨ ਜਾਏ ਟੁਕ ਦਮ ਕਰਾਰੀ ਜੋ ਕਰ ਹੋ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹਜੂਰ ਖੁਦਾਏ ਬੇਦ ਕਤੇਬ ਇਫਤਰਾ ਭਾਈ ਦਿਲ ਕਾ ਫਿਕਰ ਨ ਜਾਏ ਟੁਕ ਦਮ ਕਰਾਰੀ ਜੋ ਕਰ ਹੋ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹਜੂਰ ਖੁਦਾਏ ਬੰਦੇ ਖੋਜ ਦਿਲ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀ ਮਾਹੇ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਸਿਹਰ ਮੇਲਾ ਦਸਤਗੀਰੀ ਨਾਹੇ ਰਹਾਉ ਦਰੋਗ ਪੜ ਪੜ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਏ ਬੇਖਬਰ ਬਾਦ ਬਕਾਹੇ ਹੱਕ ਸੱਚ ਖਾਲਕ ਖਲਕ ਮਿਆਨੇ ਸਿਆਮ ਮੂਰਤ ਨਾਹ ਅਸਮਾਨ ਮਿਆਨੇ ਲਹੰਗ ਦਰੀਆ ਗੁਸਲ ਕਰਦਨ ਬੂਦ ਕਰ ਫਕਰ ਦਾਇਮ ਲਾਏ ਚਸਮੇ ਜਹ ਤਹ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਪਾਕ ਪਾਕ ਹੈ ਸਕ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਦੂਸਰ ਹੋਏ ਕਬੀਰ ਕਰਮ ਕਰੀਮ ਕਾ ਉਹ ਕਰੈ ਜਨ ਸੋਏ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਪਾਕ ਪਾਕ ਹੈ ਸਕ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਦੂਸਰ ਹੋਏ ਕਬੀਰ ਕਰਮ ਕਰੀਮ ਕਾ ਉਹ ਕਰੈ ਜਨ ਸੋਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਲੈਸਿਸ ਅਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਆਫ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਅਮ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਤਿਲੰਗ ਰਾਗ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਤਿਲੰਗ ਬਾਣੀ ਭਗਤਾ ਕੀ ਕਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਦ ਤਿਲੰਗ ਰਾਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਬਾਣੀ ਦ ਇਮੋਰਟਲ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਭਗਤਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਡਿਵੋਟੀਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਲੋਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਇਜ਼ ਬਾਈ ਕਬੀਰ ਜੀ and the shabad begins ek o ankar sat gur prasad there is one eternal creator nourish and destroy of this world wahiguru who pervades through all who is the light of all and who is found through the prasad the grace of the sat the eternal guru ampagd kabir sahib ji begins the shabad today bed kitab iftara bhai dil ka fikr na jaye and the uthanaka the context which is attached to the shabad is the a hindu priest a brahman and a qazi a muslim priest were arguing over their religious scriptures and they came to bhagat kabir ji and they said whose religious scriptures are greater so that is the story that is the utanaka which is attached to this shabad but on a wider level bhagat kabir sahib ji is talking to us today and is talking to all of those people who are arguing about the lord and who are arguing this is better no that is better no these people can't do this they cannot go here and all of those little minute arguments and those differences which we are putting between our fellow human beings bhagat kabir sahib ji is talking about all of them today in the shabad and bhagat kabir ji says bed kateb iftara pai bed meaning the hindu scriptures the vedas kateb meaning the scriptures of islam and the other semitic scriptures those of the jews and by o brothers notice that bhagat kabir ji doesn't call them by their respective 
religious titles as O Qazi, O Muslim priest, or O Brahman, O Hindu priest. No, Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says, Bai, brothers, showing the brotherhood of mankind. The concept of the Shabbat is there within that one word, Bai, O brothers of mine. And the word Iftara has been translated by many different scholars in many different ways. Iftara can mean a jungle, according to some scholars. To others it can mean an entrapment, an ensnarement. To others it can mean reading your own meaning into something that's called iftara. And it also means to exaggerate something. And what Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is saying is, Bai, O oh brothers... Simply by sitting down and reading through these religious scriptures again and again, looking for differences, looking for arguments, looking for points to confront others with, Dilka Pikar Najai, the Pikar, the anxiety, the stress which is upon your Dil, upon your heart, Najai cannot depart, cannot leave. And Iftara also means to do something under a false pretense. When you read these religious scriptures, Bhagat Kabirji is saying that you are not looking for the true essence. You are simply looking for more ammunition for your argument. And Bhagat Kabir Sahibji says that this false pretense which you put on of reading the religious scriptures, by doing simply this, and by not understanding the true essence, the true concept of the scriptures, Dilka Pekar Najai, the Pekar, the anxiety upon your heart cannot go, cannot jai, cannot depart. If you get trapped in the prison, the cage, the jungle of simply debating over religious scriptures, Bhagavad Kabir Sahib Ji says, this is not the way of removing that fikr, that anxiety, that stress within you. And if you're reading the religious scriptures in such a way, that you're only looking for points of argument. Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says that you have made that reading false in itself. Tokadam Karari. Tokadam means even for a second of your dam, of your breath. Even for the tiniest amount of time. Karari Jao Karaho. Jao, if you were to, Karaho. Centre yourself in Karari in this amazing state of Samadhi, this complete state of concentration upon the Lord. Even for a second, even for an instant, Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says, Hajir Hajur Khudai. You will realize that Khudai, Lord God, is Hajir Hajur. Hajir Hajur means ever present, with you at all times, inside you and all around you. And Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says in Akalustat, in the city Dasam Granth, ek chit jeh, ek chin te ayo, kaal paaske beech na ayo. That that person who meditates with full, single-minded concentration, even for an instant, even for a second, who meditates upon the Lord, is not ensnared by the noose of death around his or her neck. And this is the same thing that Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is telling us. That if you were to Leave behind all of these false debates, all of these false pretenses, and you were to meditate upon the essence of the Lord. If you were to attach yourself in meditation upon Vaheguru, even for Tukdam, even for the tiniest amount of time, you will have that realization. You will be blessed with that spiritual wisdom, that spiritual knowledge, that experience. Bande. Bande, notice this that Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is calling both of them from both faiths. Again, not O oh, Hindu priest or O oh, Muslim priest, but Bande, O oh, human beings. And Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji's words echo those of Siri Dasam. Again, Akalust by Siri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Manas ki jad sabha ikka pahajanabo. Understand. That all human beings are one. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaja said. 
And so Bhagavad Gabir Sahib uses this word Bande, O human beings. Khoj dil har roj. Khoj search your dil, your heart. And if we ask when are we meant to do this, Bhagavad Gabir Sahib Ji says har roj. Har means every roj means day, every day. Bhagavad Ji explains to us, O human being, search your dil, your heart every day. Search through and think, what have I done good today? What have I done bad today? Sit down, take out that time to truthfully evaluate your actions, your thoughts. And to truthfully evaluate what's going on in your life. Na per pare sani mahe. Na per. And then you will not go again into pare sani, into anxiety. And you will not wander in confusion and doubt. Bhagaji says to us, O oh, human beings, sit down, truthfully look within. That Lord God abides within you. Search for Him within you. And when you find Him, all of your confusion, all of your doubts will be removed. Ehe jo dunia sehar mela. Padakabhi Sahib says, Ehe this jo dunia, this world is sehar mela. Sehar mela means just a magic fanfare. Sehar Mela means that type of a magic show where someone pulls a rabbit out of a hat, saws people in half, and other such things. And Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says, Das Tagiri Nahe. Das Tagiri means to grab hold of something with your hand. There is nothing tangible that you can grab hold of, nothing eternal. Everything is temporary, everything is moving. This is all just a game. It's all just the magic show of the magician. The only thing eternal, the only thing which you can grab hold of is Akal Puruk, is Vaheguru. The only thing which is eternal is Vaheguru. All of this world, Bhagavad says, is simply moving along, simply temporary, simply just a magical show. And that is what Bhagavad Kabir Sahib Ji is trying to make us understand today. The oh human being, get attached to this world if you want to. But there is nothing to grab hold of. If you get attached to this world, you'll simply have to leave it one day. Attach yourself to that Lord God, who when you merge in with, there is no separation again. Rahal, pause and think about this. Darog paada paada khusi hoye. Darog means falsehood. Paada paada means by reading and going through on a negative search again and again. And we can look at this in two ways. Looking through our own religious scriptures for things through which we can denigrate others, negate others. From that falsehood, khusi hoy, we get happy. Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is talking about us. That what, we, what do we do? We simply read through looking with falsehood. Not looking for the truth, not looking for the essence, but simply for more mud to sling at others. And this isn't simply on the level of two religious scholars, but in a worldly way. Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is saying that we're always looking for more mud to sling at others. We're not looking for a positive way of affecting our own life, a positive way of sorting out our own life. We're always looking for mud to throw at others. And another meaning is that by calling other religions false, other faiths false, other religious scriptures false, and part of part of by looking through our own and saying, oh, ours is better than theirs, or those types of things, that's where we get our happiness. But Pakat Kabir Sahib Ji says, Be khabar baad bakahe. What are we doing? We are arguing about things which are big khabar. Big khabar means to not know of. And the bad, the argument we're having, bakahe, that we're speaking about, is about that which we haven't seen. We don't have the practical knowledge. We don't sit down and attach ourselves to the Lord. Instead, we decide to argue about Him. Instead of 
climbing over the garden wall and smelling the roses and enjoying the roses and picking them up in our hands we decide to fight over them but we haven't seen them in the same way oh human being you're engaging in all these arguments why don't you sit down and meditate and join with that Lord God Vaheguru and then all of the arguments of your mind all of your anxieties all of your stress will depart and Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji goes on to say Hakka Satcha Khalak Khalak Mayanne that eternally true Hakka Satcha means that eternally true Lord God Vaheguru who is the Khalak who is the creator of this whole Khalak this world Mayanne pervades through all of his creation the creator Lord is within all of the creation and Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is saying those who you are arguing with those who you are pitting yourself against Vaheguru Ji is pervading through them as well and Bhagat Sahib Ji goes on to say Siyam Murat Nahi that that Lord God is not tied down to one Murat to one form Siyam meaning the dark skinned one as certain Hindu scriptures refer to Krishan Ji as the dark skinned one Bhagat Ji is saying that Vaheguru Ji is simply not just in that one form but pervading through all of the creation not tied down to one form and Bhagat Ji goes on to say asman meane lahang dariya gusal kardan bood asman within the space within you what is the space within you the dasam dwar the unseen tenth gate which is within you that spiritual door that tenth spiritual door miyanne within that lahang dariya a dariya dariya means a river a river lahang flows through gosal kardan bud and bhagat kabir sahib ji is saying to us take your bath your gosal kardan bud in this stream of nectar And what is Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji talking about in this? That within you, there is this river of nectar, the river of the Lord, of the name of the Lord. And it's already within you, it's flowing within you. You simply have to take your mind and bathe in that. And it's the same thing Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj says in Jab Ji Sahib. Sornayam nayaman kita pao antar gata tirath mal nao that the tirat the place of pilgrimage that purifying nectar is within you simply what you have to do listen to the guru's wisdom accept it and practice it throughout your life and that will be your cleansing bath and bhagat kabir sahib ji goes on to say kar phakar daim lae jasme kar phakar phakar means selfless service daim forever and take this phakar also means sense of humility take this sense of humility this sense of nimrata and this sense of selfless service daim into your life forever daim meaning forever lae jasme and lae put on your eyes the jasme the glasses of spiritual wisdom and loving devotion and what will you see bhagat ji says jah taha maujood you will see that jah taha meaning in all places here and there within me and all around me maujood that that wahiguru is ever present if you were to simply accept the words of the guru if you were to attach yourself into the selfless service and wear those glasses which give you the vision of loving wisdom and loving devotion allah paakan paak hai that allah that ram that wahiguru that lord god is parkin park the purest of the pure sak karo je dusre hoye sak i would only doubt karo means to only do je dusre hoye if there was any other like wah guru but there is no other as guru nanak dev ji tells us ik o ankar there is only one eternal lord god wah guru there is no other like him kabir bhagat kabir sahib ji says karm karim ka that through the karm 
through the grace of that Kareem, that merciful Lord, Oh Kare Janasue. Oh Kare, those who are blessed with the grace of the Lord, Janasue, only they understand. Only they Janne, only they know this mystery. Only they have realized that that Lord God Vaheguru is pervading through all. Those who are blessed with His grace, with His mercy. And overall this Shabbat is telling us, give up this external throwing of mud at each other and clean the mud which is within you. Then you will bathe in that pool of nectar, within that light which abides within each and every one of us. Allah paakang paaka hai sak karo je dusr hoye kabir karm kareem ka oh kare jaane soye wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh